This is a stickerless black chi thunderclap. And this is a stickerless white chi thunderclap. But the thing that's cool about these puzzles is that technically, well, they're the same puzzle. As you can see, one half of this puzzle is white and one half is black. I made these puzzles out of two chi thunderclaps that I bought for myself a while ago since I wanted to try a new mod. Since I have half a black cube and half a white cube, the result of this is that I had enough pieces to make two. So I have two black and white cubes. And I'm calling these illusion cubes because they do this. And this is cool. So what inspired me to make these puzzles? Well, I saw that VCube made a 7x7 version of this, and I really wanted something like that for myself because it looked really fun, but I wanted something simpler, and I wanted to see if I could make it myself. Since I know that these really aren't mass-produced, I figured I could just buy some cheap 3x3s, and I know thunderclaps are really good, so I decided to make it out of them. I'm not going to overview the performance of these cubes because they're just thunderclaps, and I know a lot of people know what thunderclaps feel like. If you didn't already know, if you checkerboard this pattern, this is the result you get. On one side, the corner pieces and center pieces are black and the edge pieces are white. When you flip it to the other side, it's the complete opposite. The corner pieces and center pieces are now white and the edge pieces are black. So how is this solved on this puzzle? It's very different from that of a 3x3, seeing that there are many more parity errors that you can get. This is because since, for example, this corner is all black, you don't know what orientation it's supposed to be in. It could be in this orientation, that orientation, that orientation, and they all look the same, so you never know what you're going to get. I'm going to do a simple walkthrough solve just to show you the solving process. The easiest way to solve this is so that three sides are black and three sides are white. It's a lot more challenging to solve it straight into the checkerboard pattern. So I'm just going to be showing you the easy way today. I like to start off with the black side. I look for the three black centers and then the solid black pieces. I see that I have an edge piece here, here, and here, and the corner piece is here. Now I'm just going to go ahead and make the cross and the first F2L pair. I'm not really going to be overviewing how I do this because it's basically just a 3x3. Three three. Once I have this 2x2 two two block, I go ahead and look for the other side. I know that this piece needs to be black and white, so basically I need to flip this piece. There's another one here, so I'm going to be inserting that one. Now this corner is already correct, I have two blacks and a white, and this F2L pair needs to be switched. Using the simple algorithm, I can do that. Now I can insert this piece right here, because I need a black and a white. And now I need to rotate this corner piece so that there are two black pieces here and here. I can do that easily with some sexy moves. Now I just need to flip this edge piece, or I could insert this edge piece, since there are many white and black edges. I find that using the beginner's method is very easy on this puzzle, and that is what I would suggest for you. This is an easy F2L case however, the edge piece is already in, and I just need to rotate this corner. Once that's done, you're on the last layer. We know that the last layer is going to be completely white, so we can apply a simple algorithm to flip these two pieces. We can do the same for the corners. And now we just have PLL. This looks like an NB perm, so I'll apply that algorithm. Apparently I was wrong. It is very hard to recognize PLL on this cube, which is why I suggested beginner's method originally. I'm going to do a JB perm. Okay, so I recognize that correctly, except now I just need to rotate this corner. So you might say, well, that's parity. How am I supposed to rotate this corner? You must have twisted a corner sometime along the way. Well, no, that's not necessarily the case. Like I said earlier, we don't know the correct orientation of this piece. So, technically, these two pieces are rotated. And the way we fix that is that we know that this piece needs to rotate that way. So we can apply the pure twist algorithm for that, which goes like this.
that rotated this one and this one, but like I said, you can't tell. So now we have three sides white, three sides black. We can do the checkerboard pattern to get to the complete solved state, and there you go. That's your illusion cube. Since I made these puzzles out of speed cubes, the solve is very enjoyable. I find that my times are around twice as long as it takes me to solve a normal 3x3, but the last layer adds a fun challenge that you can't find in many other puzzles. These puzzles are a pleasure to solve on, and I really like picking one up from time to time and just solving with it. The reason I went with Thunderclaps instead of a cheaper puzzle like a Guamong is because of the mechanism. Since I needed to be able to pull these corner pieces apart like this, I needed a puzzle that used a three-part corner mechanism. As you can see, the Guanlong does not use a three-part corner mechanism, rather a cap mechanism, so this puzzle would not be able to be modded into a illusion cube. And besides, the Chi Thunderclap is only $5 more expensive than the Guanlong. I'm not going to go much in depth about how I built these puzzles because I think it's fairly self-explanatory. Half of the cube is already black, half of the cube is already white. You only need to split some of the pieces along the edges like this and the corners. I know Lubix used to make a puzzle like this, but the cube they used is a bit outdated now and I think it's just better and more satisfying to make one yourself. If you decide to make this puzzle, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, bye.